Hey, what's going on everyone? Thank you for tuning in and checking out the latest video. Now in this video, guys, I'm going to be talking about the upcoming matchup between Danny Garcia versus Keith Thurman taking place at the Barclays Center March the 4th. Highly intriguing fight. Uh, very, very skillful fight that was going at it here. And I just can't wait to see the outcome of this fight. And when I look at this matchup, it's got great buildup. You have Angel Garcia back on Basalt saying some wild shit. Keith Thurman responding to him. Uh, so it's been a great buildup, and the fans genuinely cannot wait for this fight. Now, when I look at what both of these guys bring to the table, let's first talk about what Danny Garcia brings to the table in this fight. Now, when I look at Danny Garcia as a fighter, his best offensive weapon will be his left hook. That's his best power punch. I believe he has underrated right hand. Got some very good power on that punch. Garcia occasionally works the body, and when he does work the body, he has success in doing so. Also, Garcia is a guy who kind of has underrated boxing IQ. You look at him, he's been the underdog in some fights versus Lucas Matisse and Amir Khan. He really shined in those performances and showed his ability to time and use counterpunch maneuvers uh, to effectively hurt his opponents. So Danny Garcia does a lot of things very well. He also has some flaws as well. Uh, which we're going to get into later in the video. Now, when I look at Keith Thurman as a fighter, Keith Thurman is a guy who has a very nice right hand, left hook, uh, underrated counter puncher himself. Um, Thurman, one thing that people don't realize is he doesn't jab a ton, but when Keith Thurman does use his jab, he really sets up things effectively, and that's a, a very underrated weapon when Keith Thurman decides to use his jab, and I think that's a pivotal punch in this fight if you're Keith Thurman. Also, Thurman has the versatility in this fight. He's a guy who's a boxer and a brawler. He has uh, some movement. He'll move around the ring, give you some different angles. So Thurman is a very talented fighter in himself. And Thurman, uh, although has shown in fights that he can get hurt, we've seen him in the body versus Luis Palazzo getting hurt. Also, Jesus Soto Carras hurt him um, in their fight early on. Thurman also has shown the resilience of a true champion by not even taking a knee during these vicious shots that he took and got caught with. Uh, so he, to me, even though Thurman is hurtable as a fighter, he's a guy who knows how to rebound, and that's extremely uh, good feature that Keith Thurman has as a fighter and shows the kind of champion um, and high-level fighter that he is. So now picking a winner in this fight, guys. In my opinion, when I look at the matchup, and you look at some of the advantages, I'd have to go with Danny Garcia's having the better chin and being able to absorb more punishment of the two. I also believe that Danny Garcia has better fighters um, experience-wise on his resume, not recently, but overall uh, his body of work. Um, I also believe Danny Garcia, in my opinion, he may be the better counterpuncher of the two, uh, maybe a little more patient, I would say. Um, of both of these guys and then when I look at Keith Thurman the advantages he has in this fight I believe that Keith Thurman has the foot speed advantage hand speed advantage I believe that Keith Thurman also is the bigger puncher of the two and leading up to this fight in terms of getting ready for this matchup I believe that Keith Thurman has the advantage and the reason why I'm saying this is because while Danny Garcia looked very good against the opponent like Samuel Vargas Keith Thurman in his last fight was in a straight up war with Sean Porter. So when the going gets tough versus Danny Garcia in that fight, uh, when he has bad moments and Garcia lands body blows or whatever, Keith Thurman can draw on his recent performance versus Sean Porter and mentally recover in this fight. Whereas Danny Garcia uh, of recent times has been fighting lesser competition, like Samuel Vargas did not belong in the ring with Danny Garcia, in my opinion. Now, in predicting a winner in this fight, guys, I'm going to take Keith Thurman for a couple of reasons. I believe Keith Thurman is a little more versatile than Danny Garcia as a fighter. I also believe that Keith Thurman's size is going to be a huge issue um, for Danny Garcia because I don't think Garcia has ever fought a fighter as big as Keith Thurman. Um, he's a real welterweight, whereas some of the guys that Garcia had his beat on his resume, they're not truly 147 pound fighters. Garcia is new in that weight class. And a lot of people are saying, well, he'll be able to deal with Keith Thurman because he dealt with a puncher like Lucas Matisse. Now, Lucas Matisse and Keith Thurman are different fighters. Keith Thurman 
um, gives you a lot different angles and he moves around a lot more. He's definitely harder to hit, in my opinion, than Lucas Matisse is. Um, so that's just another thing to look out for in this fight. I also just think the footwork, I think that he'll be able to catch Danny Garcia reaching in on some shots and land his left hook. A uh, very good counter punch that Keith Thurman has. Also, maybe some uppercuts when Garcia reaches in on shots. Going to be interesting to see because Danny Garcia is going to challenge Keith Thurman. He's going to try to hit him in the body. And Thurman's got to watch himself and watch that he can't get countered by Danny Garcia because Danny Garcia is excellent at timing people coming in. And Thurman sometimes jumps in and defensively um, isn't the most skilled defensive fighter, Keith Thurman. Well, both of these guys really aren't. The only difference of the two is that Garcia will kind of stand there and take shots, whereas Thurman at least will move out of the way. Even if he is getting hit by shots, he'll move and get out of that um, kind of brawling atmosphere. So when I look at this fight, I'm picking Thurman just because I feel he brings a little more to the table. And also I think the size is going to be a big issue because Garcia is hittable, especially with that right hand. And Keith Thurman's a big puncher. Garcia has not been in there with a guy of Keith Thurman's size. I think if he gets hit by a Thurman quite a bit, it's going to be a complete different experience. But you cannot count out Danny Garcia in this fight. He's very good. He rises to the occasion um, as an underdog. And he can catch Thurman and hurt him to the body or hurt him to the head. And he's a good puncher. So you definitely cannot count out Danny Garcia. A very underrated guy. Um, I really like this fight, and I believe Keith Thurman wins a unanimous decision in this matchup. Let me know what you guys think on the fight, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. Thank you very much.